how are you guys so today I'm going to show you guys how to do a natural makeup look so I'm how air in my garden and it's a really sunny day but let's just get straight on to the video okay guys so I have a makeup basket right over here and I already have cleansed my face and now I'm going to start off with prepping my face so I have this E45 lotion right over here. It's perfume free guys. So as you guys know, um, I am a baby, like not a baby, but still like my skin's like a baby skin. So it's really sensitive. So I obviously I, should, I like to use all those lotions which are perfume free and this is a perfume free. So that's why I use this one. So let's prep my skin now. After this as you guys can see it's a really really sunny day out here so I am going I actually have two of these as you guys can see one is from L'Oreal and one's from Wednesday guys um, I'm not gonna use this one guys because I went to Green Valley and they forced me to buy it um, but I don't think so it's really really nice and it's like okay sorry Wincy but whatever it's a video and I have to say that so I'm gonna use this L'Oreal one and guys it's SPF 50 as you can see. Okay, let's try it. And once you put it on your face, it's transparent. So the best thing about it. Okay, guys. So I am done. And guys, don't ever, ever forget to put your sunscreen because it keeps your face protective from the sun, right? Okay. Next, even if you don't put makeup, just put sunscreen on your face. Next, I'm gonna use, um, I'm gonna get onto the makeup. So I don't usually put foundations. I'm not used to put foundations, like I don't. Only on some really special functions. And this is the foundation by the body shop. As you can see, Chelsea. And let's put this, and it's in the shade 12. Let's, oh uh, wait, not like this. I'm just gonna put some in my hand and I'm gonna dab it out. As you see, I didn't put, I have my sponge. Okay, let's get started. So I'm just gonna dab this onto my skin. My sponge is already wet. That's perfect. And I'm not gonna, I'm not using a foundation, just full coverage because you guys uh, know that I am a kid and would look so weird with packy makeup on your face. Like, oh, I hate it. That's why I go with a really, really, really natural look. It's gonna take a little bit more foundation. It's really hot. Okay, gonna go down the cheek go down because I don't really use concealer I don't really like it because it just uh, I know like everyone loves it and they only use concealer but I think so it makes my face too tacky all done guys as you can see it's a really really light end up which is what I like you can also take this uh, like this can also be a medium coverage for you guys but I always like to use light coverage next as you guys know it's really 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 hot outside so I need to put powder but not a lot so here is one for me new uh, NYX professional makeup HD studio 40 photogenic studio and it gives you finished powder oh my God, so good I love it it just sets my feet out and I don't put a lot and I have some brushes over here as you can see hello Katie you can open it and I'm gonna use this powder brush right I'm just gonna take some. You have to tap off the excess and just set your face. A little more. Put on your face and tap off the excess. Like, voila! It's done. You look. It just settles my face. Now let's get on to other stuff. Let's put this back in. I want to talk to what we have to do. 
So now, I am a blush lover. I love blushes. So, right over here, I have three. Okay, I love, like, all of these. They're all so nice, guys. So, the first one I'm going to show you is by Maybelline. As you can see, it's a really um, nice pinky shade. Um, there's no shade right over here. Well, that's weird, but okay, whatever. And then I have one by the Body Shop. It's a really nice color, which I really, 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 really like. It has a shimmer in there, guys, as you can see. And it's Honey Bronze, the shade it is. Next, I have a tint. It's not a blush one, but it's a cheek and a lip tint, which is by Even Organic. As you guys can see, I love, love, love this. Oh my gosh, it's organic, guys. And you know, I love organic stuff. So I am going to put these two today. I do love this as well, but well, that's my choice. That's what I put. So first, I'm just going to take a little bit of you. And it's a really dark shade. So I add a little bit on my face and I damp it with a sponge. Just squeeze it. Yep, squeeze it. Now I just put on a little bit as you guys can see like this as this much because i don't want it to be really 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 dark which is really weird oh wow we need a lot <laughs> just joking i need a little bit more because oh no i love this oh my gosh you guys don't know how much i like this you can also use any type of brush like a blushing brush but i love to use this it just emerges into it just like helps me merge this into my foundation and my skin as you can see it's a really light pinky shade to your skin some on my cheek as you can see i'm just gonna dab it in wow my beauty gets dirty and i clean it afterwards and then i put a little bit on my nose just from the sponge like that's easy because i don't want to look like i have flu <laughs> That's weird, right? So as you can see, it's a really natural finish look. Now, I really like this one. But I will not forget to put this one. It has shimmer in this. It's a really bronzy shade. So I really like it. Let's put this on. Oh my gosh, look at this, guys. Look at the shimmer. Whoa. Just going to dab it. You, I'm going to use my brush. I'm just going to blend it. And then afterwards, I always use my uh, sponge, but I don't forget to use this first and then use my. Guys, you have to see how good it is. This. Look. Right? Okay. Now, let's use you. Just blended it. Done blending it. Just use this to merge it into your skin. It'll make your makeup look more natural. Okay. Never, never, ever forgot to put your highlighter. Oh my gosh, I love this highlighter. Oh my gosh. It's by L'Oreal, and I'll tell you the shade. Wow, it has no shade. <laughs> okay, it's one sparkling love. It stays over here. It's the shade number one. And you're just gonna take this. I just use a dropper bro. Down. You can also put it from your finger, but I usually like to just dab it on my face. Cheekbone area. And then I use my finger, just because the light it. It's a light finger. I'm just gonna use it to dab at it. Ooh. Ooh, and I also put some over here just to highlight that area. And, well, there comes a beauty blender again. And just really dust. Done. Look at this side. Look at this side. It's a difference, right? Okay. Let's get some more highlighter. Highlighter on the go. Okay. Have you, you guys have already seen this tint, which I put on my cheeks. And I'm just going to put this on my lips. I didn't put a lot. Same. To get the dark shade. Just put some on my head. No. Well, that would be high okay.
look, an end with a really, really natural look. Close it. And the last, but not least, I'm just going to finish this whole makeup look. It's going to be mascara. It's by the L'Oreal. It's the L'Oreal mascara. Oh, Rimmel. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, this is by Rimmel London, guys. It gives a really nice volume to your um, eyelashes and makes them pretty long. So let's just put a little bit of it. And look at the bristles, guys. Okay, let's start. This last. Okay, that was a really weird face. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, guys. So, my makeup look is complete. And I'm going to meet you guys when I'm all this is 